Today in Elder Kings 2, I'll be looking into immortality, the joy of not having to deal with heirs or successions. So what are our options? There's becoming a lich, which requires you to obtain master conjuration, while being in a religion that is okay with necromancy. There's being a vampire, which is obtained through being bitten, in practice meaning that only a custom ruler or pre-existing one will be able to obtain it. There's becoming a briarheart, that's not actually implemented outside of custom rulers, and I'm not certain if it actually grants immortality. Lastly, there's having the immortality trait, which is exclusive to Dramora and a few select individuals. I suspect obtaining this trait in the future will be tied to restoration magic, but in the meantime, I don't know any way to obtain it. So this means everyone else will inevitably die, right? Not quite. Aging in Elder Kings 2 is solely based off health, with a stacking health penalty for each decade after 30. Even elves, who have the lifespan trait extending their lives, will inevitably encounter this wall of death but there is a way to beat it. You see, this penalty only stacks until you've acquired the 100 years variant, at which point, if you've still got enough health left over by either countering the penalties or just having an abominable amount of health, you'll get to enjoy a form of immortality that doesn't reduce your monthly lifestyle experience, unlike the official routes. You can, of course, die to murder plots or any number of other causes, but after 350 years, I'm still alive and capable of siring offspring. This will probably be patched out along with the culture clash event from my last video. But in the meantime, enjoy!